Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is very complicated. So I request you please watch the video carefully and I will explain each and every step in detail. So please listen what I'm saying. Okay, so first of all, just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds. So just wait for that. Meanwhile, just do one thing. Open your new tab and open the online notepad. We need this online notepad. Okay. Now just simply come on here. Let me just increase the text size for you. Now just simply come on the task number one. Before that, we have to just set the zone. So just make sure before we begin, we have to just set the zone. So just copy this command, run over here, click on authorize. Now just simply scroll down, copy this command of task number one and run. Okay. Now just copy this command and here please pay attention, copy this command, run over here and you will get this output. Now what you have to do, first of all, just copy this and paste over here like this. Now just hit enter couple of times. Now just copy this output. Okay. And paste over here like this. Let me just increase the size because we need this password and here for when we have to use user password that time we will use this first password when we have to use root password then we will use the second password and when we need a project id we will use this project id i hope you got my point now what we have to do just simply come over here copy this command and run this command will take around five to six minutes to execute all the things so just please patient and make sure your laptop will not go for a sleep Otherwise, this cloud shell will be disconnected and because of that, you might face an unnecessary error in the task. So just wait a couple of minutes and we will just move forward with the next task.
and it's finally done and here please pay attention guys this primary address just copy this primary address and save to your notepad because we need that primary address in later step so just save this primary address okay now just copy this command and go back to your dashboard and run the command over here now it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that meanwhile just simply scroll over here open this link if you just right click over here open this link in incognito okay now if you just go back to your dashboard the command is executed now if you just simply click on check my progress you will get a score on task one without any issue now just go back to your stream click on the launch option it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that and here you can see we got a score for the task number one now what we have to do over here we have to just change the zone so just come over here choose the zone to us central 1a as like now just click on this radio button to yes and click on this checkbox and simply click on deploy and done now if you just simply come over here once this thing is deployed you will get a score on this task okay and from here please pay attention because these steps are very important if you not, do not follow the these steps you won't get a score on the task number six okay i will explain you how to do that just wait until this thing is get completed And it's finally done now if you just simply come over here and click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now from here please pay attention first of all what you have to do just copy this go back to your notepad and paste okay now we have to just change the stream vm name so just come over here copy this name okay copy that name come back over here and make the changes like this now change the zone so just copy this zone Go back to your notepad and make the changes like this okay now just copy all these two commands go back to your dashboard and run now again scroll down copy this command run over here wait for a couple of seconds it will ask do you want to continue just press y and you are done with this command also now what we have to do just go back to your stream click on this visit this site okay if you don't get the option like that you can just sim simply click on this site address okay like this now just come over here then click on this agree then click on this accept terms and condition now here we have to just give the all the field inf information so for now what we have to do just i'm just giving quick lab like this for the username uh, for the email address just copy your e email address from username just paste over here for the company name just i'm using google for the cluster name i'm just giving quick lab and here for all the password and confirmation password i recommend you please use the same password as given in the lab instruction page just copy this password and give same password to all it will save your time and it will be very helpful for us in the next task so just give all the same password for each and everything now just simply click on save and continue no need to make any other changes simply click on save and continue and click on launch now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just simply come on the task number three and from here please pay attention if you just make a little mistake you won't get a score on the task number six okay so now what we have to do first of all just go back to your stream click on this sss option okay no need to worry about that it's play some kind of hide and six with us okay now again click on this ssh it will take a couple of seconds to launch meanwhile just copy this first command of task number three okay not the first command second command of task number three now run the command over here and hit enter okay so once you're done with this command 
please pay attention once you're done with this command close this ssh now again open this ssh again okay because they already mentioned close the ssh window and again click on this ssh button now again copy the fourth command of task number three four point command just wait for to establish a connection and run the command over here paste the command and just hit enter like this and the command will be executed automatically and here you can see at last slash bash now again just copy this command run and hit enter it will take a couple of seconds and execute it as you can see now just simply click on check my progress you will get a score without any issue now what you have to do again close this ssh and again open this okay just wait for a second and it's come now click on this ssh go back over here and copy this and run over here paste that command and hit enter okay please follow the way i am doing because it's very important task task number three task number four and task number five okay so once you're done with that now you can just simply close the ssh we don't need of this ssh right now now just simply come on the task number four this is also very important task so basically what you have to do just copy this command go back to your dashboard and here just run this command okay now here you can see this is a csql username so this is a username so that time what we have to do here you can see username password so we are going to use this first password why when we run this command after a couple of seconds it will ask for the password so that's why we have to use this first password so just copy this password and the password will not visible for us so just copy that password and paste over here make sure of the spacing that you do not copy any extra space otherwise you will get an error so just wait for a couple of seconds and it's asking for the password so i hope you copy the correct password because it's user password so we have to just copy the first password and paste over here and hit enter and then you can connect to your database now just simply scroll copy this command and run over here and hit enter then scroll down copy this command and just paste over here and you will get this kind of output now just simply scroll down copy this exit and paste now we are out of our database now again copy this command and paste over here now here you can see this is a root user so for the root user if you just come over here for the root user we have to use second command so just copy this second command or you can say second password go back to your dashboard just wait for a couple of seconds and paste the password carefully and hit enter okay so now we again connect to our database just copy this query paste over here then copy the last command exit and paste or you can just simply type exit and done i request you please follow this way otherwise you won't get a score on the task number six now task number five is very easy just copy the command and paste over here then copy the command paste then copy the these two commands paste copy this and paste now again scroll down copy this command wait for to this command get executed and paste now here please pay attention it asks do you want to continue just press y and now here just press enter button couple of times and now you will get this kind of output just wait for a couple of seconds and this command will be executed automatically 
it's done now just simply scroll down copy the last command of task number five and hit enter once this command get executed you will get a score on the task number five without any issue so the command is executed and we will get a score as you can see now task number six this is the very important task of this lab so i request you please pay attention for this lab uh, for this task so what we have to do first of all just come over here click on this login now for the username just type admin and for the password just copy this password and paste over here like this simply click on sign in it will take a couple of seconds and it will be okay now we got a landing page now just simply click on app now click on this create app and then click on start from scratch now for the name just simply scroll down copy this name and paste over here like this okay then click on save i will do all the step very slow so that you can understand each and every step now here what we have to search search for the database drag and drop over here now for the new source just simply scroll down and from the point number six just copy this name mysql source and paste over here like this okay adapter must be data set reader database reader okay now for the connection url just simply scroll down copy this link and one more thing they have just updated the lab because of that they haven't properly uh, placed the format in table format in future they might update the lab and make these changes okay but we have to just paste the same information as i am showing in the lab now what you have to do just copy this come over here and first of all just remove these two things we don't need that and if you remember in starting i just ask you to save this primary address so just copy this and make the changes over here like this okay remove that square bracket also like this and your command must be look like this if you just forget to say store this primary primary address so just copy this command okay copy this command go back to your dashboard and simply run once you run this command you will get a primary address over here as you can see this is a primary address now just copy this command go back to your flow and just paste over here okay now for the username just simply scroll down copy this username like this paste over here okay now for the password here you can see csql user password so if you just go to your notepad you can see c user user password so we have to use the first password like this copy this password go back to your flow and paste the password over here now click on this advanced settings and here we have to just add the table name. so just simply scroll down from the point number seven just copy this last thing like this paste over here okay no need to make any other changes just simply scroll down till output to and for here just simply scroll copy this thing do not copy that full stop copy that and paste over here make sure your new source must be look like this if it's so just simply click on save okay and you will get component save now click on this wave option like this then click on this plus option okay then click on this connect next target component now here we have to add some values so if you just simply scroll down till the point number 13 so just copy this name come over here and paste now for the adapter just search for the big query you will get big query writer choose that now for the table name if you just simply come on the point number 15 from here you can get the table name so just copy this format paste over here now for the project id you can get from your lab instruction also like this now again click on this advanced settings okay and now for the service account key you will get from the point number 14 so just copy this thing carefully do not copy that last full stop 
as you can see do not copy this full stop just copy like this okay and paste over here like this make sure your new target new target must be look like this if it's so just simply click on save so we have done with both the things you can see component save now again click on this wave icon okay once you click on this wave icon click on this create and click on this deploy app then click on deploy wait for a couple of seconds so it's deploying and it's deployed now click on here again click on start app wait for a couple of seconds it's starting it's starting the sources and it's in running state if you make any mistake on the task number three four five or if you miss any step you won't get the running option you might face unnecessary error over here that's why i request you please pay attention on the task number three four and five so we have done with all these things now what we have to do just copy this query search for the big query over here open it and now just simply click on editor and just run over here and now just if you just click on run you won't get any output here you can see we are, we can't get any output so if you just simply click on check my progress you won't get a score but no need to worry about that because lab take time to update a score for this task so you have two options if you want you can just wait over here or you can just move forward in the next task the task number seven and here this task also very tricky so i request you please pay attention okay so what we have to do for the task number seven so first of all just copy the name because we have to again create same app so just copy this name go back to your flow and now click on this app option then click on this create new okay now again click on this start from scratch and paste the name over here like this mysql to bigquery then click on save so you have done with these things wait for a couple of seconds now here what we have to search so if you just simply come over here copy this thing mysql and just search for here and here you can see okay just search for mysql cds cds okay this thing mysql cds the first thing so just drag and drop over here please make sure you have to use this mysql cds now for the name what we have to use for that please pay attention guys over here just simply come on the task number six of point number six task number six point number six just copy this name okay copy this name paste over here and we will get error why because the same name is we can't use two times so just type underscore two like this okay now for the connection url just go back to your notepad just copy this connection url go back to your flow and paste over here now for the username just copy this name okay paste over here for the password just we have to use user password so we have to use first password so just copy that go back to your flow and paste the password here now for the table name just simply scroll down copy this table name like this okay and paste over here okay now if you want just click on this advanced option so we don't have the option for add database so no need to make the changes you can just simply hide your advanced option now for the new out output what you have to do just simply scroll down copy this thing copy this thing and paste over here and we will get error why because we can't use same name so what we what we will do underscore two okay now make sure your new source must be look like this just cross verify once if it's so just simply click on save that's it okay so we are done with that now click on this flow icon wave icon and click on this plus option now click on this connect new target component now for the new target name please pay attention just simply come on the task number seven for the new target name just scroll down and from the point number three you will get to your target name so just copy this target name paste over here again i am saying for the target name come on the task number seven and from the point number three you will get your target name now for the adapter just search for the again big query 
and click on that now for table name and all the things again just come on the task number six come on the point number 13 and 14 and 15 so what we need pro table name table so just copy this thing carefully from the point number 15 of task number six and paste over here now we need a project id so just copy this project id paste over here again click on this show advanced settings and for the service account key just copy this path carefully do not copy that full stop copy that and paste over here now check your target must be look like this if it's so just simply click on save so you can see component has been saved now click on this flow icon and you got this kind of page now click on this create then click on this deploy app then click on deploy then it's deployed now again click on deploy then click on start app it will take a couple of seconds and it's in running state and that's the thing you have to do now if you can just simply come under task number seven okay now what we have to do we have to run this command so for that just simply go back to your dashboard and here just search for the sql open this thing in new tab okay now here please pay attention click on your name or instance id scroll down you can see open cloud shell click on that it will open the new cloud shell so just open this thing new tab and it will automatically generate one command you can see this command and please pay attention you can see the user is root okay so now please comment down below what password you will use so just hit enter it will take a couple of seconds and now if you are correct we have to use second password because the user is root okay so now just simply come over here and copy the second password go back to your dashboard okay not this the second one and just wait for a couple of seconds it will ask for the password again i am saying is a uh, root user so we have to use the second password okay and it's done now just paste your password and hit enter and now you are connected to your database then just copy this commands paste over here and hit enter done you are done with this thing also now if you just simply scroll down and if you remember we already run this command if you just forgot this from here you can just check that okay now just simply click on run and once you click on run you will get the output like this okay now no need to worry about if you just simply click on check my progress you won't get a score because it take time to update the score but if you just come back to your task number six and click on check my progress for task number six you will get a score as i said lab take time to update a score so we got a score on task number six now wait for a couple of minutes for the task number seven and we will get a score without any issue okay so wait for one minute and after that we will check the score okay now again click on check my progress let me just check you got a score or not 
and finally we got a score and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys this lab is very difficult so i request you please give a couple of tries i hope you guys like the video if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day